Let's take a closer look at how some of the basic controls work in Aerial Odd with this little example of a model landscape I made for Ben Nevis, the highest mountain in Scotland. If you want to follow along with this example, then you can download the files in the video description. If I turn off the colour layer, you can see the effect this has. You can see the underlying terrain model on its own. If I turn it back on, you can see what happens. The colour layer comes back. If I change the vertical scale from 10 to 5, you can see that makes it more flat. If I increase that to 20, then it's going to increase the elevation. So a scale of 10 in my model represents more like a real world view. But if I wanted to exaggerate it, I would simply increase the scale value like this. Let's put it back to 10 though. Let's put the scale back to 10 for now. Okay, so we're back to like we were at the start. To move the model around, we can either use the right mouse button, so hold the right mouse button down, pan around, or use some of the tools at the bottom of the aerial odd window down in the bottom right like this. To zoom in or out, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse if you have one. And you can also use the W, A, S or D keys on your keyboard. If you try each of them in turn, this is what it'll do. So W will zoom the whole model in, whereas A spins the model one way and S is gonna zoom out. D spins the other way. If you try that, you'll see how that works. So you can use a keyboard, but you can also use your mouse. To pan the entire model around within the map canvas area, you can hold down the space bar and then click on the model to move it around. You can do the same thing if you hold down the mouse scroll wheel, if you have one. So hold down the mouse scroll wheel, you can move it around. We can then experiment with some of the different settings in Aerial Odd. But the best way to get used to Aerial Odd and how it works is to watch the videos in this channel and then play around with it yourself. But if we go over to the left hand side of the screen and we look at all settings, so if you click all to make sure that you're showing all settings, just try changing some and see what happens. Same goes for over on the right hand side. We've got all settings up here. Make sure we click all, we can see all the settings. And then if we change some of them, we'll see what happens. Just a reminder here that if you have Aerial Odd in an older laptop that maybe doesn't have a powerful graphics card, it can be slower than it would be on a more powerful gaming PC with something like an RTX 3070 graphics card. So it will require patience if your PC isn't super powerful. But like I said, the best way to get up to speed in this is to try some of the things I've explained here and just experiment with the settings and then watch the rest of the videos and you'll be up and running in no time.